Hey, welcome to BeyondBathTime.com. I'm Erin Davis, author of the book Beyond Bath Time. But really, I'm a mom just like you. Maybe not just like you. You might have more or less kids than me. You might be in a totally different place in the mothering journey, but I bet we have more in common than you think. Let me prove it to you. You are joining me in my kitchen, surrounded by piles of dirty laundry that need to be washed, dried, and folded by me. You have those piles at your house, right? That's because motherhood is made up of a million small and seemingly insignificant tasks. And as moms, as we swim those waters and accomplish those tiny tasks day in and day out, it can be easy for us to start to feel like we're the most insignificant members of the church. That's not what God's Word says. I know, because I've done my homework. I have searched the scriptures for God's vision of motherhood, and what I found is so exciting. It's not small at all. In fact, it's really, really big. So I know we just met, but I'd love to ask you a couple of questions. Is it possible that it's not just housework, but that it's service? Maybe those aren't just peanut butter and jelly sandwiches you're dishing out. Maybe that's an act of worship. Maybe it's more than a carpool. Maybe it's the mission field God has for you. And maybe you're doing more than just raising good kids. Maybe you're living out a God-given purpose and design that God has for you as a woman. There's more than we can unpackage in one single video shoot, but I promise if you'll read the book and check this blog often, I will cast a vision of motherhood that will so excite you and reinvigorate you for your job as a mom. I want to read you a passage. It comes from Nehemiah 8.10 and it says, Do not be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. For now, don't be grieved by the laundry you have to do, the noses you need to wipe, or the kids you need to shuttle to soccer. Do it with joy. Find strength from God. And let's keep talking. I can't wait to continue this conversation, but for now, I've got to run. It's time for me to separate my whites from my colors.